you, you spoke with Clemente more than friends. He, um, him and I went to like kindergarten together. So him and I are like basically the same, you know, we have the same story. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, we went to the same elementary school, middle school, all that. So um, him and I used to like, there were these apps on like iPads and stuff that were like drum pads. I'm, I'm actually surprised he didn't mention this, I, unless he did. Uh, no, not this. Called, like, drum pads 24 or something. It's basically just like a mini Ableton Live kind of a thing, or like the Ableton yeah. Push, or whatever. And but it's all like uh, tuned and everything. So like anything you play just sounds amazing. And we would just spend so long like making loops and stuff, or like guitar with like a wop wah wah pedal and. Um, him and I were just always making stuff like that. We'd like make little bands together and, you know, jam guitars. And then, yeah, I, uh, I got this program called Mixcraft, which was a, a PC version of like garage band, like a very ghetto PC ripoff, um, almost looked like audacity. I don't know if you're familiar with yeah, audacity. Of course, of course. Kind of, kind of looked like, and even, even more ghetto, like a very like windows 97 version of that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And I was just making these, you know, just like beats or whatever. I like Snake Hips was like my my idols, you know. Of course. Um, and that just I I guess I moved to San Francisco, and that's when I got really into house music. But wow. um, what? How old were you when you moved to San Francisco? Then? Uh, I went to college there, so I was like twenty when I moved there. Okay. I, I transferred there, I, like halfway through college. Um, yeah, I get, well, okay, so let, let's rewind a little bit. <clears throat> um, the first, like, club or nightclub I ever went to was a, I was, like, 19 using my my brother's ID <laughs> and went to Spin in San Diego, which is, like, we're one of the best spots. Yeah, we, we love I it. I know. Yeah, yeah. Spin I've been across awesome. twice, and I always go to Spin. For sure. Yeah, shout out uh, Brano and Brandon, the managers there. They're huge homies. They put us on for sure. They helped us throw some amazing parties. Great. Um, and yeah, it was uh, it was like an, some LIB. It was like the LIB pre-party, I think of like 20, I don't know, 13 or 14 or something. And um, it was Justin J and J Flip. And it was, I was just like a youngin in a nightclub, my first time ever in a nightclub. And I was just going bonkers like losing my mind and i remember justin jay played first and i was just like obsessed and i just wouldn't stop like high-fiving him it was the way it's arranged now you like the stage is up high but it used to be like kind of ground level yeah and i remember just like high-fiving him and then uh he after his set jay flip came on and he came out in the crowd and found me and was like dude, like, I love your energy. Like you're the shit. And we basically hung out the rest of the night. And like, I wouldn't say I'm good friends with him, but every time I see him, he's like, what up, Joey, you know? And that kind of fueled me to be like, shit, like this is fun. You know, like I love meeting these people and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, I went to like LIB. Uh, then I went to desert hearts and then it was game over. I was just like fucking tunnel vision for, uh, music festivals for a while. Yeah. Uh, did LIB for like three years. Desert Hearts used to be twice a year. I went to my first one was their two year anniversary, and then they do it twice a year. So I just did that twice a year for like I want to say like three years or whenever they stopped doing it twice a year. Die hard, um, yes. Yeah, I went full invested, like fully involved with the the festival scene, and then yeah. moved to San Francisco and started uh, DJing and producing house, and then. Uh, it just kind of, yeah, you know, it just kind of progressed from there. 